Welcome to round four of the Parenting Roundabout podcast for the week of November 25th. I'm Catherine Aleko, and I'm here with Terry Morrow. Hello. And Nicole Eridix. Hi there. As moms of teens and young adults, we've survived those little kid days, yet we're still rethinking the decisions we've made all through our kids' lives and worrying about what's going on right now. Today's Thursday, which means it t- it's time to give in to our obsessing about parenting details, big and small. Like, what are we thankful for this year? (laughs) Big things, small things. (laughs) What in recent memory are you thankful for, Terry? I was going to say, Nicole's got cookies cooling in her kitchen right now. Is she thankful for those? Because I would be. Most definitely. And I'm thankful for the reason why I made the cookies, which is that it finally rained. (laughs) Oh, yeah, California. <laughs> Yay. Honestly, it's really changed it's, my mood. <laughs> it's a frigid how many degrees there? Oh, let me check my weather app. <laughs> You'll be shocked. It's <laughs> definitely out of, uh, it's not the norm here. Yeah. Let's see. It says, and I'm very thankful for the change in weather because uh-huh. it just drags on and on and on while you're down here. 55 degrees. Uh, oh wow that's cold chilly that's that's barbecue weather where Catherine lives <laughs> it <laughs> totally is <laughs> yes i know <laughs> it's all what you're used to so what else what are you thankful for terry nicole's got her cookies in her rain <laughs> I'm she yeah. probably has a few other things but we'll get back to that <laughs> yeah i'm thankful that my kids have been pretty solidly employed. I mean, still part-time, but my daughter's job has been working out really well. And she has managers who will tell her if they don't like what she's doing, which sounds bad. But before this, she had managers who would not tell her they would just let her go. So this is better, uh, as I tell her every time she comes home upset about something. But it's helpful to know what you need to do differently. You know, so I'm very grateful to, uh, to Wendy's for giving her a job and telling her what to do and enjoying her presence, which seems to be the case. So, and my Mm -hmm. son has a few different places he's been working, but he's been working at all of them for a while and they seem to genuinely like him. I mean, just to see he's friends with people on Facebook that he knows from work and they comment on his stuff and that makes me feel really good. I mean, it seems like a small thing, but mm-hmm, I'm yeah. very thankful for that. People who take an interest in my kids and enjoy them uh, is mm-hmm. something I will always be thankful for. It's been hard to find that in the working world. And though I worry about saying it out loud, um, I'm gonna. I'm very thankful for where we're at in the job situation right now. It might change tomorrow. Um You know, a couple of his jobs aren't very active during the winter months, so he usually is unemployed for a little while. But uh, still, between now, between last Thanksgiving and now, it's been good more than it's been bad. How about you, Catherine? Well, I am thankful for, number one, I'm thankful that we have been saving money for college (laughs) for for 18 years because we're gonna need it yeah (laughs) so it's i'm really glad that we were able to do that and we did do that um because you know circumstances change sometimes Mm -hmm. and uh it's i'm just very thankful that we were able to do that and that we did do it and um that's going to come in handy. <laughs> yeah. And I'm also, you know, in that same vein, thankful that my kid has been really proactive about the whole situation, the whole college situation. You know, she's been really taking on most of it herself, wow. uh, you know, yes. to the point of like, oh, yeah, I decided to apply to this other place, <laughs> like on the last day that the early action wow. was due. She's like, yeah, I'm wow. not through that one in there. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so yeah, I'm, that's, you know, a big thing that's happening in our family right now. Oh, and yeah. I'm, and I'm glad yeah. that it's so far so good. Yeah, definitely. How about you, Nicole? Um, well, outside of, you know, rain and cookies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Your life is I... a dark hole. No. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm just really thankful for the various opportunities. Like you said, with, you know, college and stuff, 
mm-hmm. that my kids have. I mean, they helped contribute towards those opportunities, but I'm just grateful and thankful that things are turning out the way that they've wanted so far. You know, there hasn't been any major things to throw them off course, knock on wood. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, my daughter got into the university she wanted to get into. She loves it there. She's thriving. It's great. Um, my son passed the MCAT. <laughs> yeah, and that's now huge. interviewing at different medical schools. So I'm just thankful that um, they have those opportunities. You know, yeah. I think probably that's the, that's the key is that there's those opportunities for them. And they worked really hard to get there. And mm-hmm. uh, but yeah, I'm just really thankful that they have that chance to do that. So yeah, that's that's what I'm thankful for. <laughs> They're happy. I'm happy. It's all good. Right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Just that, you know, the, just for that the moment. Itself. For the moment. <laughs> yeah. For right. the second. I haven't checked my text messages yet. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. we give thanks for every happy, peaceful, and calm moment. Mm-hmm. It really, I think that's what it boils down to, right? It's like yes. You know, if your kids are happy and thriving and doing well, well, that's what you got to be thankful for. (laughs) Yes. And I, you know, I feel like I have learned over the years to just be happy about that in small increments. And, Mm -hmm. uh, you know, know that, okay, this may not last forever, but while it's lasting, I'm going to appreciate it. And, you know, I'm not going to feel like I have to be constantly vigilant. I'm just going to wait, you know, <laughs> and when right. when I need to swoop in, I'll swoop in. But until mm-hmm. then, you're just going to sort of let things go. Of course, I'm saying this after I've talked about telling my daughter what she should do with her life. So maybe I'm not <laughs> that calm, but I'm working on it, you know. <laughs> I'm, th- I'm thankful for trying to <laughs> be calm. There you go. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and hey, I turned 60 this year, so I guess I should be thankful for that. Yeah. I made it to this point and seem to be doing okay. Yeah. And so, and That's now now I'm I'm inching ever closer to the point where I can wear sneakers to any event and a backpack <laughs> instead of a purse and it, I will just be eccentric. <laughs> oh, there's eccentric old Mrs. Morrow. <laughs> just leave her be. She's a sweet old, old gal. Lady Morrow. <laughs> That's my next goal in life to get to that point. I'm pretty close, you know. I wear those sneakers pretty much everywhere. I didn't wear them to a wedding, but I thought about it. Hey, you know what? According to my daughter, that's yeah. kind of the thing right now. You can yeah. wear formal wear with sneakers. So I'm thankful that's... to be living in a time when that is the case. Where just anything goes. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Comfort. Yeah. Comfort mm-hmm. is, I'm thankful for comfort. Although it does have to be the right name brand of sneakers. I don't know if the Converse <sighs> is going to cut it. Cut well, I'm anyway. up to the PF Flyers now, so. Oh, right, they right, look, right. They look pretty cool. I probably could have gotten away with them under a long dress because they look like boots. Until oh. you see the logo on the side. <laughs> but, uh, you get yourself some black electrical tape <laughs> and cover, cover that them. up. Which is like, oh, isn't that For cute? For formal like, occasions. Little old-fashioned uh, boots. Aren't those nice? Yeah. Uh, uh, comfort is good. You know, figure skates, we cover them entirely with That's white right. tape. That's so. right. That's right. Apply that to all areas of dressing, I think, yes. would be a good uh, idea. I think I'm pretty thankful for the people that download our podcast and yes, listen very to much us so. every week. Thankful mm-hmm. to our audience, the people who talk back in our comments or talk back yes. with comments. Uh huh. The people who, who think of things they would like to comment and never get around to doing it. But we know. <laughs> yeah. We feel the vibe. We got yeah. you. <laughs> yeah. And I'm thankful for for both you and Catherine because Aww. you are definitely a huge part of not just my professional world. <laughs> But my personal life too. Aww. You provide hours and hours of entertainment <laughs> <laughs> and um, gifs and jokes and memes yes. and, <laughs> and uh, give me That's the true. I'm I'm thankful for that gif tool in um, uh, Facebook Messenger mm. because. Yeah. That's yes. really how we communicate <laughs> quite a bit of the time. <laughs> how did we get along without that? I wonder. Yes. I, don't know. I don't know. Yes. So. Well, we're very thankful for you too, Nicole, especially if you're going to send us some of those cookies. Yeah. We like cookies. Um, somehow I don't think they're going to make it out the door. <laughs> All we're going to get from you are internet cookies. Fine. Yeah. <laughs> so, well, uh, yeah. On that note of thankfulness, then we'll... <laughs> 
wrap up this podcast and say that's it for today's round four. Tune in tomorrow when we'll share our roundabout roundup of things we've been using or enjoying lately that we think deserve a shout out. Find all our episodes at parentingroundabout.com and talk back in the comments there on our Facebook page or on Twitter where you'll find us at Roundabout Chat. Happy Thanksgiving! <laughs>